Welcome. It's your boy Amstrite61 doing a CWO Pro League qualifier guide for dummies. That's right. We're going to be going over the format of how this event that will take place over the next five days will work and how these teams will qualify for the CWO Pro League. 16 teams make it to the CWO Pro League. There's a lot of new faces in this crop of teams that would be a league player, you know, a professional player for the first time in their careers. There's a lot of old faces that have been in leagues of past over and over again, and it would be really crushing if they couldn't make the league. So there's a lot of high drama coming up in this event. It will take place over five days, starting on Wednesday, going all the way towards Sunday. Sunday will end in dramatic fashion with some huge matchups. It's I don't remember, I don't know how many matchups there will be, but there will be those loser go home, win and you're in the league, really high stakes matchups. But how does it work? So 28 teams are in front of me. Four teams have already automatically qualified for the CWO Pro League. Those four teams, the best teams in the league at the moment, are Optic Gaming, Splice, E United, and Luminosity Gaming. Those four teams will not be at this event and are already waiting in the Pro League because they finished in the top four at CWL Las Vegas. Now the next 28 teams that finished in the top 32 at CWL Las Vegas they were allowed to keep three of their five players, although many of them kept four or five of their original roster. There are a few teams that kept only three of their original roster and replaced with two new substitute players. But as long as three of those five players remain, they were entered into the Pro League qualifier and slotted into some pools. So as you can see, those four pools were drawn and they are seeded from one to seven based on where the teams finished. Those one seeds either finished top six or top eight. The two seeds were top 12. The three seeds were top 16. The four seeds are top 20. The five seeds are top 24. The six seeds were top 28. And the seven seeds were top 32 at CWO Las Vegas. So it begins with a round robin in each individual pool that takes place over the course of four days. So let's look at pool A here. Team Sween, trying to make the Pro League. They are going to need to play all six other teams in their pool over the course of four days. That means that they're playing one or two series every day, but they will end up playing every team in this pool. Now, if they can finish in the top two, where Team Sween and Team Reciprocity are projected to finish currently, they will automatically qualify for the Pro League. If a team finishes in the bottom two, after four days of round robin, if they finish sixth or seventh place, they are automatically eliminated. So at the end of four days, after these round robins take place, you will have eight more teams added to the CWO Pro League for a total of 12. And eight teams that are eliminated because they did poorly in these pool play, in pool play. And what does that leave you with? It leaves you with an interesting middle group of 12 teams. Obviously, this is just showing off. This isn't the 12 teams because the event hasn't started yet, but the teams that finish third through fifth in every group will be in a 12-team double elimination bracket for the final four league spots. So only one third of these 12 teams will actually make the league, so it's going to be cutthroat. If you finish in that middle group, you still have a chance but you really have to clutch up in that bracket play and show off uh, in order to make the league. So there's going to be some, some underdog teams, some six and seven seeds that maybe scooch their way up into that middle section and will be still fighting for a league spot and try and you know, be a really compelling underdog story. But there's also going to be some of those top teams, some of those one or two seeds that slip up on the first few days and they find themselves in a brutal double elimination bracket where they have to keep winning and they cannot afford to lose two more series or they will be sent home and not going to the league. So day five will culminate in, these ult in this ultimate double elimination bracket from 12 teams that will narrow it down to four teams. Now, 12 teams, you're wondering how the first matchups will work. Those three seeds will be getting a bye. So the four and fifth teams in each pool, or not in each pool, but will play each other in, across the pools, and those three seeds will get a little bit of help. So being number three in your pool is a pretty significant advantage over being number four or five. But anyone's glad to not be six or seven because those teams are eliminated. So... On the fifth and final day, on that Sunday, we will lock in the final four league spots. 
we will have two do or die games between teams that are you know, have made it all the way to this point, but if they lose this series, they're going home. But if they win this series, they are in league play. So there's going to be two of those matchups at the end of Sunday. Uh, definitely tune in to watch those. Those will have some incredibly high stakes. And that is your Pro League qualifier uh, for dummies right there. The format is a little confusing, but once you get it down and simplify it to one team, it is pretty straightforward. You're trying to make the league. If you finish one or two, congrats, you're in the league. If you finish sixth or seventh after those four days, you're out. And if you're in that middle section, well, it's still a tough road ahead, but you're still alive and you just got to be clutch in that bracket on Sunday to make it out to the league. Now, for each individual pool, I will be doing previews in 90 seconds and more extensive previews on the individual teams and their chances and what pools I think are stronger and weaker as we head into the Pro League Qualifier. So do check out those other videos. You can basically digest you know, the favorites, the weak teams, and the storylines in each pool in just 90 seconds. Or if you're really curious about the roster changes and the stats from Las Vegas, you will also be able to see those longer videos where we really go in depth on each individual team. Thanks for watching.